Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Holly, and it is time to get my closet in order. If you're new here, I am 27, I am engaged, and my life and my home are about to start looking very different. My fiance Jonathan is gonna be moving into this house when we get married, and I wanna use this time as an opportunity to really simplify. There is so much stuff I never wear, and also just things that I've been holding on to because I think I'm gonna wear them, but then I don't, and it's just time to do a big thorough declutter. I have clothes all throughout the house. <laughs> I have clothes in my bedroom, I have clothes in my basement, I have clothes like stashed away in various places for the seasons, and so I need to just purge. <laughs> so that is what we are going to be doing today. So buckle up. This is probably gonna take a while, but it's gonna feel so good. These are my favorite type of videos to watch. Like I search closet clean out on YouTube because it's so satisfying. And also I really like to see the type of clothes people have. Like it's so interesting to see what people love and kind of the type of fashion choices they have. Like that is a blast. So if you are like me and are finding me for the first time through this, thank you for being here. Welcome. I hope that you find this just as satisfying as I plan to. <laughs> okay, first things first. I need to go collect all of my clothes. Let's do it. Hi. Load number two. Load number three. One more. Last one. Tell me why I am both panting and sweating and we literally haven't even started. <laughs> okay, here's my plan of action. I need to have a few piles. So obviously there's keep, things that I for sure know I want. I'm probably gonna have like a maybe try on pile or I might just do that as I go, we'll see. I for sure am gonna have like a giveaway slash try to sell. I also am gonna have two kind of mini piles to the side. One is set aside for wedding slash honeymoon and then I do have a lovely seamstress that I'm going to be seeing tomorrow. And so it would be great to be able to have kind of a pile of anything that I need her to work on or even like things that I can alter myself. Um, but I have a bin for that. So I'm gonna stock that up uh, with things that I find as I go along. Okay, I, we're gonna go section by section. I'm gonna start pulling everything out of here. Here we go. This is too many jackets. First things first, my pink blazer. I bought this before COVID when my office was a little bit more formal and it was also before blazers were kind of in fashion as oversized. It's cute, but I think it's also shrunk. It's kind of a linen. So this is gonna have to go. First item is a donate. That's a great start. I don't wear this as much. I do have the matching pants, but this fits a lot better. So I will keep this. I just back hurt. I never wear cardigans like this, but it's just such like a basic, it's hard to get rid of. I think I'll keep the black, but then get rid of some of the grays. Donate. Donate. I used to wear this all the time. All the time. It's got like an asymmetrical front. I just don't wear it. Cute, absolutely keeping. I like this. I just don't know how to style it. Like I just have never, I don't think I've ever worn it, but it's a nice jacket. So someone tell me how to style this and then I will style it. I call this my Mrs. Claus uh, jacket and I actually love it, but I don't wear it in the summer. So this is going to go in a, another pile I didn't even mention, which is put away for the winter. There will be a lot of those. This was my mom's, I stole it. It's a purple corduroy crop jacket, love. I kept more of this honestly than I expected to, but I just tell myself that I'm gonna wear it in the summer because I get cold at work and then I need a like jacket or something. We will probably have to revisit this at the end of the summer and see what I actually wore. But for now, this is good enough. Next up is all of my work clothes. I need a better solution for hanging pants and actually getting myself to wear them. Like these are cute, 
but I rarely wear them. These are very cute. I thrifted them. They're like super high-waisted, kind of professional, but they're just too tight in the crotch. So someone not as tall as me can enjoy these. New leather pants, new professional pants. Haven't worn them yet because they got lost in my closet and I completely forgot that I bought them. So that's a problem. This shirt makes me feel like Vanessa Hudgens in the first High School Musical when she's singing in the hallway after she thought that her and Troy were like not gonna work out. She's like in the back, like sad singing. This shirt makes me feel that way. <laughs> However, it also makes me sweat. <laughs> randomly and so this is like a donate I'm not even maybe I just throw it out like there's like pit stains gross okay yeah I think this is just a throwaway oh I completely forgot about this blazer oh, you guys this is why we do these things I really like this oh no I do like this oh but it's so it's like tight but it looks so good uh, okay, we'll give it another try. It's just good to have a basic oversized men's white shirt. I think I'm gonna put this in my, my day clothes because I don't know that I'm gonna wear it to work because it's a bit like trendy. I don't know what this is, but that's what it, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in my day clothes and I bet you I'll wear it more. These are all for sure. Literally yesterday, I was wondering where this shirt was. Here it is. I thrifted this skirt. Look at the fabric. I bought it at like a secondhand boutique and it is so pretty. Like I just feel beautiful when I wear this skirt. Absolutely a keep. Very old, time to donate. It's so fun at the change of seasons, pulling out all the clothes that you forgot you had or even just like couldn't wear because the weather was too um, cold in this case. Oh, another beaut. This Calvin Klein like tie neck, really frilly, like feminine shirt I love so much. LOL at me having this random little boy sweater. <laughs> I think I've, I got it for Asa, my nephew, at one point, but he's a, he's a baby. And this is a 3T sweater. <laughs> Why did I do that? I'm getting into the part of the pile of all the clothes I wear all the time. So I already know that I wanna keep these, except this one. I wear it. But I don't like how I feel when I wear it, so why do I wear it? Donate. Before we put everything back, I'm gonna go through the rest of the hanging clothes in the closet and just put them in here and then we can reorganize everything later. I'm not lying to you guys when I say I think I hurt my back bringing all of those bins up. <laughs> I just took an Advil because I genuinely am feeling it. Okay, next section. I just thrifted this. It's like a zip from both ends. I love it, so for sure keeping this. I never wear this. I just never wear bodies. I, they're not comfortable. They, this one has like a full butt, so it leaves lines. So yeah, I'm not loving this either. All very cute. I wear these all the time. Easy yeses. This one is great for layering in the winter time, but since I am rebuking any winter clothes at this point, I am going to put this in my winter pile. Okay, so I think that is all of the hanging clothes in my closet. I've got a good pile going of donations. Now I think it's time to tackle the bottom. It just started to get overwhelming and I'm not really like a throw things on the bottom of the closet kind of person, but we did get end up getting there. So time to go through that. Okay, I have work like paint clothes. 
I don't need this many. I do a lot of projects, but I don't need this many. So I have a long sleeve, a pair of shorts, a pair of pants, and a t-shirt. That's really all I need. I don't need all these extras. Yeah. I do not need these. <laughs> honeymoon swimsuit can go in the honeymoon pile. Who remembers the no-show socks? <laughs> no longer. I have so many belts, but I never wear belts anymore. And so this is one of those things of like, do I just stash them away because someday I will wear belts again? Or is that hoarding? <laughs> one thing I should mention is I have decided that I will keep one bin of clothes that are like, they're not in style now, but they could be someday. Or even some, my like daughter, this is so silly, my daughter might want them someday. I just feel as though I have benefited from my mom that way. Like I have so many clothes that my mom used to wear and I love it. Like it's so fun to be able to pull out clothes that were hers, um, but that she would never wear anymore. And so I wanna do that for my daughter and not be so purge happy that I just like get rid of everything that isn't it with the times. So I think I will keep that in mind as I am doing today too. I actually haven't been started, so we'll go through that. And I think just every once in a while I'm looking through it and be like, do I really need this? Is this really gonna come back in style? All these shoes I forgot about. Okay, donate, donate. I don't even know if you can see that, donate. Love, 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 love. <laughs> I made this belt, you, like in maybe eighth grade, ninth grade, when the big belts were totally in. And it is very, like, it's cutesy cute. I would, I would never wear it again. But I made it out of all these different buttons, which is kind of a fun memory. I am gonna donate it, but it was a fun memory. Anyway, this is the state of my bedroom right now. It always gets so much worse before it gets better. Ooh. Okay, time to put everything back together. Okay, so far I have tons of space right up here. And then this is pretty sparse. And then so is this, like there is a ton of space here which is great because this is where I want to be able to put a bunch of my summer stuff. So we're on to that. Are you ready for part two? Which is my, I've been calling it an armoire. Is this even an armoire? What would you call this? Stand up tall dresser situation? Anyway, this is what we're doing now. It is mostly sweaters right now, but it also stores PJ tops, jeans, bottoms, etc. So my assumption is that a lot of the sweaters are gonna go into my winter storage. I'd really like to be able to replace these with some summer stuff. Like this could be where summer dresses go, my shorts, um, like skirts, that sort of thing, just to be able to have quick access to um, summer things that like don't make sense to hang. So that's the plan. Let's start with sweaters. Oh, sweaters I love and want to keep and like wear during the summer. I'll set aside and probably hang as long as I think it wouldn't like damage them. And then the rest of them are going in here. Okay, my first nostalgia sweater. I used to wear all the time. Like I wore it so much. And now when I wear it, I kind of just feel like that Sarah. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't wear it very often, but it's pretty. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna keep it and we'll see how I feel about it at the next transition because if it just doesn't feel like me anymore, then I'll get rid of it then. But for now, it's not even gonna be in my like traditional closet, so maybe it doesn't really matter that I hold on to it for just a little bit longer. Staying. This has been my travel shirt for ages. I'm gonna donate it. 
This used to be very neatly separated between pajamas and sweatshirts. Um, it is no longer. So I just need to, I just need to clean it. Jonathan's. I bought this for Jonathan and then it didn't really fit him. Um, so I kept it, but I never wear it. So. really nice Patagonia sweatshirt, quarter zip, whatever you would call it, but I never wear it. It's not as thick as I would have expected it to be, so it doesn't actually feel as warm and like cozy as I want it to be. So name brands aren't everything. I don't think I'm going to keep this, but this would be a great one to sell or like bring to a secondhand place because I'm fairly confident it would sell. I want to do the YouTube girly thing where all the thing, all the, um, what am I saying? Oh, I'm fading, you guys. I'm fading. I want to do the thing where all the things are stacked like this so you can see them and like see all the pairs of things. So let's try it. I don't know how it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Hiya. All right, here's the damage so far. I feel like that's pretty good. We're not even done. This is just the winter stuff. I have no idea how long I've been filming at this point. So we're gonna start going through my summer bins, but we're gonna be going through them a lot faster than how we were just going through all of the other clothes because this video can't be two hours long. This is, I think, the majority of my summer clothes. I almost feel like the hair has to go up for this. I'm trying out a different angle so you can see both sides of the tops I'm showing you. This is a yes. For the sake of time, we're gonna go very quickly through all of this. <gasps> Frick yeah. <laughs> These were my, <clears throat> Harry Style themed bachelorette party glasses. <laughs> and they were a blast, if you were wondering. This t shirt is my brother's Little League baseball jersey, t shirt, whatever, from when we lived in England, which means it was when. I was in first grade, which is cute and nostalgic, but like, will I ever wear this? I guess I could wear it to like baseball games in the summer. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not doing a very good job in this whole purchase. No, I am, I am, that is a good pile. Oh my gosh. Okay, I still have this jacket. It's time to let it go. But who remembers? Who remembers, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I wore this all the time, all the time. But it, it's just, it's not coming back. It's just not. Ugh. Keep, keep, keep. Oh yeah, keep. Donate. Hi. Oh. Alexa, stop the music. I have been jamming to Harry Styles. What else is new? Shoe time. I don't know what to do with these. They're very cute but I'd never wear them. I used to wear them to work, believe it or not, um, when things were a bit fancier and I was newer. <laughs> uh, I have become a bit more lax. <laughs> like literally, 
I used to wear the, I once wore these to our plants. Like I wore it to a manufacturing facility. Yeah. I'm a changed woman. All right, I'm gonna keep them because they are cute and they're cute with like a baby doll dress or something like that. I actually have a dress I really like to wear. That would be cute with this. So I will keep them. So things that are more day to day, I'm going to take out of this. Like these. And then we can use this as a fancy shoe bin. It's not super accessible in my like back corner. So I think that that's fine. It's not the prettiest bin, but it works. Can I just say that I never in a million years would have thought that my thrifted shoe collection would be as large or as great. Like I have an amazing thrifted shoe collection and thrifted shoes is like a weird concept, it's genuinely. These shoes, thrifted. These cuties, thrifted. Um, these, thrifted. Okay, no, I, this video is gonna be too long. I need to stop talking. Ah! Okay. Cute. I can't see myself wearing this. I'm so sorry, Jonathan, I love you so much. It was the first ever Christmas gift he gave me. Now this, on the other hand, hilariously, I will wear. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you see it? Go, Pat, go. <laughs> I'm not even sure really what's in this tub, to be honest. Okay. I think this is my, it could come back in style someday tub. Fairly confident. I feel like by the time I will need this, if I ever did need it, I will have outgrown it. So I think maybe it is time to give this away. This is so hard. This is like a really nice pantsuit. Like a really nice pantsuit. But I cannot picture a time where I actually need it. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna give them away. Same with these two. I'm not gonna live a corporate life, again, in, in this type of kind of corporate. They're just really low waisted. Like I'm just not gonna wear these. I need to start just being honest with that. That was a pretty significant, like this whole tub was full. That was a lot of being really honest with myself. Hi guys, it's a few hours later now. My camera ran out of battery <laughs> as I probably should have expected considering it was such a long day, but I um, ended up continuing to just go through. I was really close to being done with all the bins. So I finalized the last bin and just got rid of a few more things. That bin was more of like the memory stuff like t-shirts from when I was little and a few other things. So anyway, finished that, which feels so good. I I'm looking around, really the only thing left to do is to go through my dresses and that's all downstairs. And then also to try on my maybes. I am kind of amazed at how much literally I have compiled. Like this is a ton of clothes. Like I was hoping I would be able to get rid of a lot, but this is even more than I expected. So that is very exciting. You guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I throw out my back doing this. Something about like moving the bins around or I don't even know, but I'm telling you I can barely walk. Like I am in so much pain <laughs> and that makes me very sad because I was really looking forward to this and I've still had a blast, but wow, I am uncomfortable. So, that means we are going to give ourselves the night to relax, to ice my back, to be able to hopefully stand up straight tomorrow. <sighs> anyway, me and my big pile of clothes are just gonna hang out. I will have to move this off my bed before I go to bed. He, when he's in a mood, sometimes Ollie. it requires a lot of his Ollie. Oh my gosh, a lot of our love to him. Hi! He is needy. 
He's a little needy boy. Oh my god. Hi, it's day two and I can actually move again this afternoon, so that's a great sign. But anyway, <laughs> back to work. I'm almost done. Like I'm genuinely feeling really good about all of the various <laughs> piles and things. Um, you'll see in the shot just before this that I had some friends come over last night and they dug through some of my things and grabbed stuff. So that always is very fun. So there's two last kind of major categories I need to go through. The first is dresses or like long hanging things, jumpsuits, that sort of thing. And then I do need to try on my babies. So that is what I need to get through now. Um, but there's really not that much left. So we are going to power through uh, for the rest of today. Okay, so first thing on my pile is this jumpsuit. I wore this on a trip to Barcelona and it was absolutely the vibe for that trip. I just don't know that I'm going to wear it again, if I'm honest. This is a jumpsuit. I don't really wear jumpsuits anymore, just kind of generally. So in this one I haven't, I don't feel like is the most flattering anyway. So we're on a roll here. I'm actually feeling pretty good. Look how beautiful this is. This is just show and tell at this point. Look how beautiful this is. I thrifted this two years ago now, probably. It is so beautiful. I bought this dress, final sale from Ann Taylor. And I just thought it was so like French. So I knew I would want to bring this on my honeymoon. I'm embarrassed to say that I forgot I owned this dress. So I for sure will have another opportunity to wear this. I got this from a friend and have never worn it. And at this point, I don't know that I will. And so I think I'm going to donate this. Another jumpsuit, but I do feel like this one is quite flattering. I think I'll keep it for one more summer and just see if I wear it. Okay, so that was another four items being donated. And then one more in the maybe pile, which is where we are headed next. There's actually quite a few maybes, so I'm gonna speed round through these and just give you like a yes, no on whether I decide to keep them. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. I have added 10 pieces today between my dresses and going through my maybe pile to my giveaway pile, which I'm actually really pleased with. Overall, this has been a very successful closet clean out. I need to put my world back together and then I will take some after photos for you. I feel really good. This was really successful. I hope this has inspired you to clean as you watched or go and clean out your own closet. It doesn't have to be a massive event like mine, even if it's just pulling out pieces as you see them that you realize you're not gonna wear again or just don't feel like they bring you joy anymore. Like, little bit goes a long way, I promise. So anyway, I hope you've had a fun time watching this and uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything that I've given away that you think was totally a mistake or vice versa, if there's anything that I kept that you're like, girl, Stop kidding yourself, <laughs> just get rid of it. So anyway, if you haven't and you've gotten all the way through this video, please subscribe, like, comment, like all of those things genuinely help. And I realize I don't really ask for that enough. So please subscribe. Most of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. And there's gonna be a lot more organizational content coming your way very soon. So thank you for being here and I will see you next week. Bye.